Let me uh, borrow a Tony for a moment. So this whole kata, Jim, I'm on. I think I'm on. I'm talking. Okay. Um, so th this whole kata is primarily about controlling the center line, and uh, some of the basic concepts. Of course, there is this idea of controlling the center line, but we also have uh, kazushi involved, and this starts from the very beginning. So when when he comes to um, when he comes to uh, draw the sword, this is a big motion, and you can see here I've brushed his face back his face just a little bit, and when the stick comes here, he's pulled back onto his heels, and I just put the stick there. It's really relaxed. I mean, I'm not grinding him or shoving him. What I've done though, by doing this, put him on his heels, and then I'm going to hold the stick there and say, great, stay on your dang heels. So now, he's a, he can't really attack here. He can't even push in, <laughs> um, you know. So if he's forward, and I have the stick here, he could push through, he, he could. He could knock the stick aside. I could have all kinds of problems. But if I catch him here, right at this point, his toes are starting to come up off the ground. So he's helpless. He's going to start to go back. And now, Gyakute is not a strong position. But what I've done is I'm, I'm keeping him on his heels. All right? He's going to come in to attack again. He's right off the end of the stick, and if I try to hit him, he's going to move. Okay. So when this happens, I come back to center line. Now this position here, we've been talking about. This is jodan. Okay. We have a lot of jodan in this kata. Okay. When we were here, and I did this. Look where my hands are. Ah. I'm cutting from Jodan with the stick. Okay, so I've already come to my center, and I'm attacking his center. We're here, this place, and he's going to come in. Now I've got center again. This hand is Jodan position. So we had come forward just a sec. We had a lot of people that are maybe like this or they try to put their head under like this this hip joint if I take the middle of the stick put it there put my hip joint front hip under this hand now I've got a good position and I'm pretty much straight I have this way not this way see how I pull my hip back it's now way back here He's not threatened very much. Now he is. I could do this with one hand. Putting the back hand attaches the rest of my body, bracing off of my back foot. All right, now he's going to step back feet together, and I follow in. And once again, I'm taking his kazushi, putting him on his heels. Um, at this point, when he steps back, I just turn, and I put the wall here. Now, I'm not going to step back. I, this is my spot. When he tries to continue that cut, I just drop my foot back. Okay? There you go. So, I've been holding the center. I'm using Jodan. I'm putting a wall in between me and him. He comes back. He's going to strike. This is Kessa. You can go Kessa. You can probably do men also. Men, men is fine. Yeah. Yeah. See, men is correct. Never mind. Sorry. See. Jodan again. Okay. So if you're here and you're doing this, this is not, this is slapping a little bit. So the angle, the correct angle for, of this strike, if you were to think 9, 10, 11 o'clock, 
12, 11, 30. So about that line right there. Um, it's more or less, if you were to take a line from the shoulder to the foot, that's about the line we're talking about. So from here, and I'm going to move back with that step. This is the beginning of where we've done a couple of things. In the last kata we had uh, the sword um, taking a cut here. We have the Joe stepping back to cut. Okay, Some of that's about distance, but also you're learning that you can generate power backwards. So in this case here, I could step through like this, but he's already shown he's not trustworthy. So I'm going to get some distance and I'll try it again. So those are some of the concepts uh, in Ichi Day. Um, we've got about 20 minutes left and i um, going to ask if anybody has any questions. Anything? Yes? Okay. okay. It was just the, the draw from the swordsman. I found it a bit weird that you're there, you're blocked, and then so you managed to get from there to uh -huh. there. Okay. Especially Bonus if you had a scabbard, I was thinking. Oh yeah. Well, if you notice, I put it. I put it through. So what's happening? And having the in the obi simulates a scabbard. So what's going to happen here is that I'm going to. I start to draw. Come, come and get a stick. There's a little trick that I do, just in case you were wondering. See what I did? I brought this up a little bit, okay? That seems counterintuitive, but what happens if my hand is down here and he pushes it down and I'm trying to draw and I can't do it? So what I'm going to do is as he strikes, I give myself a little room. So I've, <laughs> I make a little circle like this. So now I've got this out from under and I'm off of him and I draw this way. I'm not able to really draw to, to strike. Um, so if I'm here, I would probably want to do something like that, EI style. Um, he's not going to let me do that because he's got his body weight on me and he's got me on my heels and I'm just in trouble here. So if I start to do this, he might do this, he might here, shove it through my armpit. <laughs> I could have all kinds of problems, right? <laughs> but I'm here and I'm like, okay, I got to get off of this. I'm on my heels anyway. And I start to draw, and I draw to the side to get it out of the scabbard because he's pressuring me. I had to come here, oh, and I just pop it up like that. That's, I think, the easiest way. Okay. Chris, do you have a... Oh, uh, it's a Q-Hon related. Uh, so Everything I, is. Always, yeah. So I, I was going to not come ask... Come here, come here, come here. Hi. Um, so, um, the distinction between um, when we are here, and I, and I know I'm not mm -hmm. running away here, I'm just I'm keeping yeah, the space yeah, dropping yeah. down. In the end, where we draw back, we're here. How do I? Am I? Intuitively, I'm thinking I generate power by coming down, and then the yeah. back happens on the recovery. Is that correct? More or less. Okay. You do have to give yourself room to step back. Okay. So, um, on on this motion here, is this the right one. Yeah, left hand. So you see the body drop happens when you move the right foot and then you recover with the left. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yeah. This movement here, what you're going to do is you have to turn your hips square and then 
drop. Now, I don't drop down very far. I'm not taking a big deep stance, but what I am doing is I don't want to retreat at that point because I own this space right here and I'm going to take it. You're going to vacate that. I'm going to put this in here. And this is almost just staking out my claim. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Um, anything, any other issues, questions? Okay. Um, I thought we would wrap up with Skizue. Okay, so maybe this is taking a step back. I don't want to go into the next kata right now. Um, it's simple. It's almost as simple as Skizue, but um, it's got some complexities. But I think everybody knows this. We may have done it last time. Um, so Skizue means a standing up stick like this. This position is called skizue. Um, go ahead. He comes in. He's going to take a cut right at my head like this. Go back. I'm going to open my hand just a little bit and I'm going to roll the stick here. Hey. Notice how far out of range I am. This is okay. I also want you to notice that I changed the stick. I kind of pulled the stick with me. When I step off the line, diagonal back corner, I'm also bending my knees so my hand has already acquired the stick. I'm going to bring it up like the letter D. Backward. Hey! And we know that brush back strike. So once again here I have a wall. I'm holding his wrist. He's going to step back and go to Jodan. I aim at his eyes as I draw the stick back. Open up this back hand. This is Honte. Another big strike. Okay, and that's the right side, uh, just the other side put away. Again. Hey. Hey. Okay, I think that's pretty easy, right? Does everybody know that one? Maybe we've done it before. He, okay, you know this one. You know this one. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do that. Um, I want. Uh, I guess you can keep the sword, and we're we're not going to do both sides, everybody. But we'll do a, a couple times run through. All right. So sword.